Welcome to part 4 of the video tutorial on making smoke particle effects in UDK. Next we're going to start working with the curve editor. The next module we want to add to our particle effect is color over life. So we're going to right click in the particle editor and select color, color over life. Now we've added the module but nothing has appeared in the graph yet. That's because what we need to do next is to click the little graph button here in color, color over life and it's added color over life and alpha over life to our graph. Now all we really want right now is alpha over life. So in order to hide color over life we're going to click this little yellow button here so now we're only seeing alpha over life. Now if we pan this around and zoom out a bit we can see right now it's going from full to zero over the course of one on the x-axis and that means it's coming in full 100 percent and then fading out now we want our smoke to fade in and then fade out so we're going to select this point, hold down control, and drag it down to just a smidge above zero. And now let's add a third point by control clicking on the middle here. And now we're going to drag this up to about 25%. So now we have our smoke fading in fairly quickly and then gradually fading out. Next we want to add size by life. So we're going to right click size, size by life. Now we don't need to see alpha over life on a graph anymore. It will just get in the way. So we're going to click the yellow box here to get rid of that and then we are going to click on the graph box in size by life to add life multiplier to our graph. Now if we start messing around with this we would have to adjust it for every vertex or not every vertex, every axis X, Y, and Z. That's a bit of a hassle so we're going to go into properties and here under locked axis axes we're going to select X Y and Z so now we can control all axes with just one graph and so now we're going to move this point down to not quite zero but pretty close about 0.1 and this one's at 1 1 and let's actually move it up a little bit so it goes about a quarter past and now you can see that our smoke is expanding really well and it's fading in and out to looking pretty good the only thing we need to add now is a bit of rota rotation to our smoke plumes so we're going to right click and say rotation initial rotation and this module comes in pretty much the way we want it and now we